Right, this week marks 50 years since the first man landed on the moon, and if that wasn't a groundbreaking British invention, we may never have got there. Now, a scientist at Cambridge University developed <laughs> the fuel cell which provided the electricity to power the vehicle, as our science correspondent Richard Westcott explains. Tucked away on board Apollo 11, just behind Neil Armstrong, is a small device without which President Nixon said they wouldn't have reached the moon. Okay, our flight controller is going to go for landing. Retro. And here's one part of it. It doesn't look much. Capcom, we're go for landing. This is a classic example of an object that looks so simple on the outside, is incredibly complex on the inside, and actually changed the course of history. It's an electrode from a bacon fuel cell, a prototype because the original was left in space. As you can see from the old manual, 30 of those discs combined into a cell that provided the electricity for Apollo 11. Well, it consumes hydrogen and oxygen to water and produces electrical energy. He makes it sound simple, but inventor Tom Bacon cracked a huge scientific problem to turn the theory of a fuel cell into a practical working device. It seems to me as a layman that this is almost as revolutionary as the discovery of steam traction. Would you agree? Well, I like to think so, but uh, you must remember that I'm an enthusiast, and perhaps you better get that confirmed by somebody else. A more single-minded man I can hardly imagine. Professor John Davidson knew Tom Bacon well. He was always terribly polite. He would ask you what your interests were, and if they had any bearing on the fuel cell, he was deeply interested, but if they didn't, he switched off. But why was the fuel cell quite so good? And how does it work? New students in Bacon's old Cambridge department showed me. So guys, this is where we do our Blue Peter thing. So Minu, pretend you're on telly, funnily enough. Look down the lens there, tell the folks what we've got here. What's this experiment? We have a small pot of soapy water here, and we have a balloon filled with hydrogen gas. What we're gonna do is to generate a layer of hydrogen bubbles on top of the water and then we are going to ignite it, we shall see a small-scale explosion. The cells used hydrogen and oxygen, which were already on board Apollo as rocket fuel. When combined, they create energy, which can generate electricity. Even better, the only byproduct was water, which the crew drank. It is uh, safer, it is lighter, it is smaller, it is quieter, and above all, it is more efficient. The bacon fuel cell, the small British invention that made the moon landings possible. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Richard Westcott, BBC News. I'm going to step off the limb. Cambridge. 50 years ago, almost now, since that uh, first moon landing.